Hi everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 16 by 20 staple back canvas and I have uh, prepared it with a thin coat of the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White all over the whole canvas and the sides and the corners. And I'm going to do a an open cup traveling uh, pour today. And let's go over my paints. My first paint is Liquitech Basics Cadmium Yellow Medium Hue. My next paint is the Liquitech Basics Bright Aqua Green. My next paint is Creative Inspirations Permanent Red. And my next paint is Montmartre, combination of yellow, mild, and orange. It's mostly the orange, but I did add a little dollop of that yellow in there to brighten it up a little bit. Um, my next color is, a co is again Montmartre and a combination of the phalo blue and again a dollop of the lamp black I added in there just to darken that up a little bit. And my last color is the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. And my pouring medium today is the 60% Elmer's Glue All, 40% water, and I did add a squirt of GAC 800 um, in that mixture. And so it was one and a half parts the pouring medium to one part paint. And consistency, show you consistency right away it just flows right back in there maybe just a little bit of a trace but disappears pretty fast so let's get started and I did see a, another artist use a cup that had been cut down quite far like this one and it seemed to really um, travel a lot easier than some of the artists I've watched that you have to help the cup along. I still may have to help the cup along, but it just seemed like this cup that that artist used traveled pretty much by itself. So I'm just putting down a little layer of the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White and then around the cup also to help the cup move. And I'm just going to layer my paints in here in no particular order. Looks like it's starting to move just a little bit here. And I'm just going to do a little bit of tip here to help it along. You can see my colors underneath that white. And I did add, I forgot to mention, I did add about one or two drops of the uh, Spot On Treadmill silicone in all my colors except that white. So we'll see if we get some cells today. Again, I'm just helping it along a little bit here.
it's come out so far it's very pretty and if I have negative space left today that's fine that's why I did give that little coat of the uh, flow acrylic white on there Give it a little tip here. See if I can get it moving a little more. I hope everybody's holiday plans and Preparation is going well for those of you that do celebrate. You know, it's a very busy time of year. Just going to lift the cup a little bit, let some of that paint out. This is one of my favorite pours to do. And help it again just to help spread the paint out a little bit and let some of that paint out the back again Now I'm really going to help it down in this area. Let some of that paint out the back again. Trying to strategically place some paint where I think the colors would be nice. I'm going to tip it up a little bit here. Let some paint out again. Then keep tipping. And I am getting to the bottom of my paint here.
just have a little bit of this orange left here I'll use up. See if I can scrape just a little bit more of that white out. Okay. Again, I'm going to help it move this way, up, up a little bit. And then I'll have it move downward. And across a little bit here. It's very interesting what's going on in the cup, if you can see that. Very pretty. So I'm just going to let the cup go. And I'm going to tip a little bit. And I think I will add a little bit more white, the flow acrylic white here, just to help the paint flow a little better. Okay. And go back to tipping. Go over that corner a little bit. I think I'm going to turn the canvas around now. And I'm going to tip the tip into this far corner here. Or I'm going to go straight down to start. See what we get when we go straight down. And let it run off a little bit there. And now I'll go to this far corner here and bring it back. I'm just going to take a look at this. And I am going to run my skewer through this blue. Just to give it a little bit added design. And I am going to tip to this far corner here. And bring it back. And I do have to apologize. I just noticed that I did not even use my red that I was planning on using. I inadvertently did not, inadvertently did not use it, but 
I'll use it on my next painting. But so far these colors are beautiful. So I'm going to get down here to this last corner. and bring it back. And I'm sorry I'm out of frame right now, but I will show you in just a moment when I get it back to where I like it. And see if there's any else I want to pour off here. And I think I am going to turn it again. And I'm just going to run a little bit off on this corner. And bring it back. And take another look at it. And check my corners here quick. My edges. Okay. I'm going to take a look at it here and I will torch it my gloves are awful messy here today okay let's do a torch see what we bring up here Oh, lots of cells coming up. Very cute little cells coming up here. Okay, let's 
let that develop here for a few minutes. This has to be one of my most diverse paintings as far as colors go. I have all sorts of different things going on here. Hoping to get, get you in good frame here so you can see this. And I, I really do think that the, glue, the Elmer's glue reacts really well with the silicone, and that's where I'm getting some of these really nice round cells. So I'm going to get you, oh, well, let me clean off the bottoms, the bottom here and check my corners. And then I'll get you down for a close-up. Again, I apologize for not using the red. It's, it's, it's still here, full cup, so I will use it on my next painting. But I am very happy with this painting. So let's get you down for a close-up now. have the upper left hand corner here and just bringing you down the left hand side here those little blue cells are so so nice and those yellow ones very bright there's some orange ones these cells are just amazing this is the lower lower left hand corner here. The orange stayed pretty vibrant. And I'll take you up the middle here. I'm glad I, I did add the black to that dark blue, the phthalo blue, just really adds. This is the upper right hand corner here. And just look at those cells. Cells within cells. So pretty. Just a lot going on here. And then this is very pretty too. A little bit more simple down in here. Very pretty and light. Very nice. Look, this is a lower, lower right hand corner here. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up or like, share, subscribe if you haven't. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all. So you know the next time that I do post a new video. And until next time, take care everybody. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.